I'm aware that makeup probably exacerbated this is Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. It's Love Always Indoors. And to those of you who are new, welcome. So today I'm coming to you from my bathroom. I want to do a skincare routine for you all with The Ordinary. And when we come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about the line itself and give you my honest review on the products and why I switched the products in the first place. Anyway, without further ado, go ahead and enjoy the video. using the ordinary now for several months and I've been really really happy with the results and I wanted to kind of share those with you and give you my take on my experience with the ordinary kind of tell you a little bit about why I switched to them so on and so forth before the ordinary I was using a smorgasbord of different skincare products I was using clean and clear I was using Olay I was using um, random serums from TJ Maxx I was just combining a bunch of different things to get the results that I wanted. I wasn't really married to a specific brand until The Ordinary came along. Now I wanna keep my routine as simple as possible. So I do rotate between a few different serums, but I don't use them all at one time. Um, I basically have A nights and B nights, and then my days are all the same. I'm gonna go ahead and step aside and let you see what my regimen looks like in the morning versus my A nights and my B nights. So you'll see that all I do is rotate around the different products that I use. For those of you who don't know, I have ulcerative colitis, which is a chronic condition, and as a result, I have been on pharmaceutical medication since 2014. Yeah. Dealing with these different medications, I've also dealt with several side effects. And right now I'm on a medication that works really great for my symptoms, but it doesn't treat my skin too well. So I had to switch up my skincare routine in order to accommodate my new medicine because what I was dealing with was texture. Texture. I went to a friend's wedding last year and that was when I decided that it was time to make a change. When I tell you my skin would get so incredibly textured every single day, it would disappear overnight and then it would happen again the next day. Right around like 2 or 3 p.m. every day, my skin would just start to freak out. Like I couldn't figure out why my skin was doing this and it was bad. I'm aware that makeup probably exacerbated the situation, but I was in a wedding. I was a bridesmaid. There was a look we were going for, so I wore the makeup. Even so, my skin shouldn't have freaked out that much. Like, I shouldn't have that many miniature bumps under my skin. So with that being said, I switched up my skincare routine to The Ordinary because they claim to have a regimen that offers 
aid for people who have texture problems, which is me. I started out really slowly with this line because of course I wanted to make sure that it was gonna be beneficial to me before I went ahead and dove completely in. I ended up buying their cleanser, their toner, their azelaic acid suspension, and their vitamin C serum. Those are the four things that I got. It might have cost me $35. Also, Desium.com, which is the site that sells The Ordinary, actually will give you free shipping if you spend more than $25. Most items are about six to eight bucks. So it just took a few items for me to get there and bam. I've been very happy with the regimen that I that I have been on. I actually do not experience breakouts anymore besides your typical hormonal breakouts. If I do get a pimple, it's more than likely gonna leave a little dark spot, which is called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I've dealt with it all my life. It's really annoying. And when I tell you the dark marks don't last nearly as long as they used to, it's kind of miraculous. I can expect a dark mark to be gone in about a month and a half, opposed to four months, five months, which is what I was dealing with before. My skin texture stays pretty, pretty solid. It's still not back to what I know it could potentially be, but what it compared to what it was, this is a miracle. Like, I'm gonna come up closer so you can see. By the way, I'm not wearing any makeup. Well, I am wearing makeup, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not wearing any skin makeup. I have on eyeliner, eyebrows, and mascara. Beyond that, oh, and lipstick, obviously. Um, but I don't have anything on my actual skin. So, um, again, it is not perfect, but I'm very happy with, with where it is. Um, because, like I said, the texture issues are pretty much gone. Um, I know I got sideburns, but I'm... I'm hairy naturally so um every now and then i feel froggy and i bleach them but for the most part that's just my face <laughs> i just accept it so anyway um very happy with how the ordinary has treated me definitely won't be going back to anything else anytime soon um i would like to give you all my monthly facial routine coming up pretty soon i do use their peel and i am very happy with that as well all right everyone thanks so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a lot um if you have any questions or comments as always please leave them in the description box below don't forget to like this video rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much bye mm -hmm.